Welcome to NGS, where we dive into my hobbies, such as playing cards. I collect these, and I'm about to show you a deck, and I might get a lot of flack for this, but I'm about to reveal one of Magic's biggest secrets to reading cards. It's not really that big, and the only reason why I'm diving into that can of worms is to demonstrate this deck. And this will be the only time I reveal this per deck. If I tell you that the deck is marked later in future videos, it means reference this video to learn what marked cards are. This one is called Cohort, which is ironic because it is a, you know, a marked deck, as in the deck is your cohort helping you in doing the trick. But it's designed to look like a normal playing card deck, which it does. It is air cushioned, smooth finish, made of cardstock, not plastic. Um, cohort premium playing cards here's the top printed in Belgium uh, this deck does not come with a seal I personally like seals but it is what it is and this right here is what the back looks like so let's crack this bad boy open this is the deck these are the Joker cards you have a black one and a red one and the cards look normal they, they, that's kind of the point here is the king what the face cards will look like here's the ace of spades And it comes with a double back for the blue variant. Now, I said originally that this deck is marked. What does that mean? Marked decks have symbols, signs, um, some sort of distinction on the back of the cards to tell the, you know, the performer what card you have in your hands. These cards are absolutely illegal in poker games, and if you want to cheat in a poker game, you can do that with these cards, but I highly don't recommend cheating at all. This is more for, I would say, magic purposes. And, you know, first glance, it looks like normal backs, nothing different, they're all the same. It's symmetrical, nice cards. But, upon closer inspection, I'm going to see, do you think you can figure it out? Do you see it? Do the next card you see the difference see something that stands out maybe probably not and that's fine that's what these cards are designed to do is to not make it obvious and not make it distinct one of the best tricks to figure out if a deck is marked and this is what you could do if you're playing poker with someone who you feel is a little fishy you take the deck from the back and you riffle through it like that as you riffle through it you look possibly in the corner and see if things change as you riffle through it. Do you see it yet? If you didn't notice, there are letters and numbers. This one doesn't have it because it's the extra. It's the um, extra queen of spades they give you in the deck. So that's a double. But other than that, all the cards will have it except for the jokers that would be the exception here they have the normal back the way it's intended to look so if you have the numbers and the letters down s obviously means spade and six means six of spades boom six of spades uh let's see uh, spade again five of spades boom look at that easy peasy lemon squeezy uh that right there is a seven of clubs so using this trick you can have someone pick a card have them look at it and while they're looking at it you can see that it is a two of clubs and now you know what their card is and then with that information you perform the trick this is the only deck that i will reveal the way that it is figured out other decks have more creative ways to do it uh, harder to spot ways to do it but i'm not going to reveal all of them just this deck alone this is the cohort deck by illusionists and 
If you are interested, I will leave a link down below if they are still available. If you like playing cards, collect playing cards, or are considering getting playing cards, uh, subscribe below. I will be posting way more often. You're dealing with the ghost. We are spitting facts, so don't mistake it with the boast.